For years, a large homeless camp at Coronado Park has caused problems. Last night, a man was murdered there. It's illegal to camp in parks, so we asked the mayor why it's still allowed. The federal courts will not allow us to just walk in and arrest someone because uh, they're homeless. So that is illegal. Now, what we're trying to do is we could close the park, but then that would push everyone into the neighborhoods. This was the scene at Coronado Park near 4th and I-40 this morning. A man was found shot and killed. Mayor Tim Keller says the homeless living here has been a problem for many years, and it's a problem every city in America is facing. While camping in parks is illegal, the city is not writing citations like they do from time to time in other parks around town. The mayor says it's difficult to enforce. He says the park is a pickup site for the West Side Shelter, so every person living there has been offered services dozens of times. He says city crews clean up the park every two weeks, even though the homeless immediately return. Now we ask what he had to say to residents who are tired of the crime, the drugs, and the mess in the area. Mayor Keller says the city needs council to vote on zoning changes next week to open the long-awaited Gateway Center on Gibson, which he says will give the city more legal options to remove the homeless from parks. There is much more flexibility with respect to federal law. If you have enough beds available on a 24-7 basis for individuals, there's a lot more things you can do with folks and a lot more different ways you can engage with them. Keller says it's going to take several measures, including the sanctioned homeless camps throughout the city, but those camps and the Gateway Center will be limited by strict rules. Critics say some of the, some of the homeless will not go to them because of their no-drug policy.